Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here. It is day 18 here on uh, planet 26. And uh, the last episode, we managed to get our printer to work properly. Uh, we, if I remember correctly, we got our uh, conveyor system all hooked in and uh, set up. Uh, and we printed out a uh, drone. <clears throat> so today's episode, I've got a better idea on, so I put this in so I could get into the cockpit, but I'm not so sure I like this, and I come up with a better idea. I'm going to lower these uh, connectors down one, just put them in down here. So I think that's the first thing I'm going to do today. And then the second thing I need to do is I've got to rename these drones to uh, be exactly what they should be. So like the first one we're going to set up, uh, this is going to be the Cobalt drone. And so in the antenna, I'm going to say uh, cobalt drone or something like that so we know exactly what it is and then in the naming conventions on there I'm going to adjust all of those so that uh, uh, we're not conflicting when I land and it's showing multiple engines on and off and that sort of thing so that's that's what we've got to do today so some of the other things I've just got uh, some other odds and ends to, to work on today uh, I want to set these doors up so that they are automatically opening and closing. Uh, I have a door that I need to put in over here uh, so that uh, we can access from down below down there. So those are some of the things that I need to get done. Also in here I need to put a few more odds and ends, some uh, uh, boxes and maybe some shelving and stuff like that. So uh, that's some of the stuff I'll be working on today. All right, so let me uh, show you kind of what I'm thinking on doing here. Uh, and I'll be able to do it with these two down here. And then I'm gonna have to move those drones to, to do those. But let's go ahead and take this out. And then we'll take this out. And then, uh, let's see, make sure, let's put uh, that to black. And let's drop one of these in there. Just like that. Oop. And then we'll weld this up. And that's Actually, I think that looks better uh, because it's not sticking up in the air, kind of looking, kind of gaudy looking there. Uh, and then they'll come in and then they still can connect. Now, hopefully that's not going to be a problem for these drones, but we'll find out. So let's go ahead and change this one up as well. And... over here plug that in now I still have to do the bottom stuff now I don't know why these textures keep uh, flipping in and out but I I don't know and then so now what I got to do is uh, get these pulled off and then uh, change these out and so uh, let me go ahead and do that I'll get these moved off and I'll get these changed out and then I'll catch back up with you here in just a little bit alright well I have got those uh, 
Uh, connectors down one. I also uh, put in a stairs because I got tired of running all the way around to uh, get up. So let's uh, go ahead and hook up this last one. Get it up there. Uh, let's uh, turn those on. And let's, uh, let's get the view from the side here. And let's uh, move forward. And let's come down. That should be enough. Yep, there we go. All right, so let's go back into here. I think what, what, what I want to do here is turn these off and flip that over. And then we can lock that. Because that way it, it doesn't uh, affect the other drone that is sitting over there on the port. And then if we hop out, we are down here on the level. We can reach up to get up into our... Uh, if we have to. So I like that better. And it's a lot cleaner looking. So I think that's what we'll go with. So I think, let's see, the... Uh, Next thing I want to do is kind of show you. So let's hop up. Let's hop back up on this one. This is the one we want to set up. Uh, let's go up here. And I am going to just kind of show you what I am thinking about doing. And then I'm going to go through and name everything uh, so that you don't. So you don't have to fiddle around and watch me do this. But what we're going to do is we're going to unlock this. This will sit here just like that. And then we can get into... Get into our control panel. And the only thing that we see is our... Grid locks and our grid names and everything. And so what I'm thinking about doing... Well, let's first off go to the antenna. Uh, antenna, antenna, antenna. Oh, it's compact antenna. That's right. So I am going to name this, since this is uh, the cobalt one, we're going to go C. Actually, we're going to go dash C O uh, compact antenna. And let's see. I think that's all I need to do on this and the other. So it's going to be that. And then when I get to these, so let's uh, down here, I actually want to, this is the HUD name. So this is, can just be Cobalt Drone. Okay. And then uh, let's go back up to, so like these event controllers. Now I'm going to name those dash cobalt. And I don't think I need to, I was going to put stuff on the end. But I don't think I need to, because I've got that controller one, DR Cobalt. Uh, and the reason I got a event controller on there is just so that that moves it up to the top. So when I get ready to start uh, setting these up to fly, uh, it's just a lot easier to find. So I think that that's what uh, I want to do with that. So I think with with that, let me sit here and get these all set up the way I want them. And then uh, I'll catch back up with you here in just a little bit. All right. Well, I have gotten the naming conventions all done uh, on uh, this first drone. Uh, let's hop in there and I can show you what I've got done on it. Uh, if we let's uh, well, let's unlock. There we go. And then, uh, let's, uh, 
It should have drained that. Why did it not drain the... Hmm. I thought I had that uh, sorter set up. Maybe I didn't. Uh, I'll have to check that. Uh, let's, uh, let's do that real quick. Always, uh, always something. Let me, uh, actually, let me go down and see if I can do it right at the sorter. So I know which one. Did I not set this up to drain all? I did not. There we go. Let's do that. We'll turn that on. By doing the drain all, that was one of the things I had to do. I had to run back down to the cobalt site and add a sorter on there so that it would automatically fill up the drone. So let's hop back in here and let's uh, lock this in. You can see on the red bar my inventory is full. So let's see what happens when we turn that on. And it should have uh, emptied it. And if we look into our inventory, let's go DR and everything is emptied so all the cobalt all right so we've got that fixed all right so now to set up this drone there's quite a process i have uh, four flight recorders on this drone and i have five timer blocks uh and because there's a lot of stuff that you have to set up and then i have one flight move block and then I have two basic AI blocks. And then uh, I have an event block. So what happens is with these drones is they take off from here. They go to a waypoint. And then an action happens at each of those waypoints. So if we go in. So one of the things I did, if you look down at my hot bar. And let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, you can see that I have my first recorder set up for add a waypoint. So that way I'm not having to go into the recorder to manually add them. And then there's a couple of different things that can take place on these AI recorders. Uh, they, you can do it automatically, but then it will set up a lot of waypoints. And we'll go into there in just a second. Uh, but you can see that I've got all of my uh, recorders on my hotbar. So now if we go into the... Uh, actually, you know what? Let me, let me unlock from here. That'll make it easier. All right, now let's hop back in there. All right, so the control panel, if we go into our... AI recorder you'll see that it's got waypoints uh, it's got uh, uh, you can add waypoints and uh, that's what I will be doing with the hotbar is adding a specific waypoint if you let's see where is it There is a way of set. Oh, if you hit record, then it starts recording a path and it will record a waypoint every 1.7 seconds when you're moving. And the minimum distance is so you, as you're moving along, you can see how many waypoints it really could add. Now, we don't need that many waypoints with the flight recorder because we're going to be using the basic AI to do most of our travel. Now, one of the things you'll see on the move, let me get over here to the move. Uh, where are you at? Right here. You'll see a, I have this one set at 70 uh, when it is traveling uh, at regular speed. 
but if you look at uh, you, uh, when it's going using the uh, re uh, recorder make sure I got my stuff straight here this is set to like 10 miles uh, 10 meters per second uh, when you're using here because if you go to uh, precision there is a precision yeah right here precision mode uh, which forces it to set up to each waypoint so if you got a very short distance back and forth you can just use the uh, AI flight recorder and it will travel to that distance but it'll do it kind of slowly if you got any kind of distance at all then you want to use the uh, recorder for your landings and takeoffs and then uh, let the basic AI take over uh, the basic AI basically all it is is just an autopilot it has uh, it uses waypoints which are GPS points that you set up so if you go down here you'll see that it has all of these different GPS points that I am reading so what we will do is we'll set up GPS points so the first thing we need to do is uh, what, well one of the things also that uh, I do is to set up my first waypoint I will go in and turn off my connector what that does is and we'll go out here so you can see that the connector is off but there was always when it hooks up with the uh, connector itself there's always a bit of a gap and so what you want to do is you want to make sure that uh, this is down tight so we got our engines on let's so that is set on there tight and it is pretty pretty square so what we want to do is we want to set our first waypoint right here so we go five so now if we go into our control panel and we look at our first recorder task number one you'll see we've got a waypoint set up and what we will do is we'll set actions on each of these waypoints all right so now we need to set our next waypoint uh, which will be basically straight up uh, so let's do this let's just kind of go straight up make sure we got plenty of clearance and then we will set a waypoint right here okay now that's what the first flight recorder is going to do we're going to have waypoints now this second waypoint will turn on a timer block that will then set up a bunch of recordings or or it has a bunch of actions on the timer block that will then uh, turn that timer block on and then it'll start those actions and those actions are like turning the behavior off on the flight recorder turning the behavior on the basic recorder it'll actually turn the collision off and on that's another thing that we want to deal with and I'll explain that here a little bit so what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and uh, do the next uh, so we've done that so I need to set the next GPS course so from here the timer block will be using and telling it to turn on the AI drone or the AI uh, basic AI and it'll move to the first GPS 
So from there, we just kind of want to move up and forward a little bit, just a little bit away from there. Something about right here ought to do it. And then if we hit uh, our uh, bar and we go GPS, and these are uh, case sensitive, and we're going to call this uh, Cobalt 1. Cobalt 1. And hit enter. So you can see that it added a waypoint. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these waypoints all set in place. And once I get that done and I'm ready to start programming all of my blocks in, I'll uh, catch back up with you. Okay, I've got all my waypoints and GPS points set up. So let's see if we can uh, program this thing to get it to function. So let's go in, and if we go to the control panel... Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I want to unlock this. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Uh... Now let's go into here. So that makes it a lot easier to find. So the first thing we've got to do is we've got to go to Flight Recorder 1. Uh, that's basic. Uh, flight Recorder 1 right there. And so the first waypoint, we want to set up our action. And that is to unlock our connector. Okay, and then if we go back here, waypoint number one, we want to set up our action, and that's going to start timer block one. Timer block one. That should be that one right there. And we want to start it. Okay. So now we need to go to that timer block because we've got that timer block that needs to do some stuff. And so if we go down here, we go to timer block one. Uh, two second delay is fine. So we need to set up actions. So the first action needs to be to turn the collision on for the flight recorder or for the move block. All right, so where's our move bar? Our move block is here. We want it to turn collision on. Collision avoidance on. And we want to turn precision mode off. Okay. So that's the first two things we want it to do. The next thing we want it to do is turn the behavior off on Flight Recorder 1. So this is Flight Recorder 1. We need to turn the behavior off, AI behavior off. And we need to turn the basic behavior on for our basic basic flight uh, AI, we need to turn that to on. Turn behavior on. Okay. And then we should be ready to turn timer block one off because you don't want it to continue to repeat. 
so we need to turn that off so it's just performed all of these actions on these timer blocks now let's uh, one of the things that we need to do is uh, before I forget uh, just a second here there's something I needed to do so this oh wait a second here let me make sure let me go to the basic AI oh yeah that's what it was I need to set this to autopilot and then this is one way and actually I've already done that I did that in the build on the blueprint so that that will uh, turn on so there's no more actions that you, there's nothing more that you have to do with the AI basic and you know the way I set this up I, I, I played around with this in uh, creative and just set up some test models and that's how I was able to kind of get this figured out and then I wrote it all down alright so now we need to go to this basic AI which is where we're at we need to add these waypoints so uh, we had should be cobalt number one we want to add that cobalt number two we want to add and cobalt number three we want to add so if we go up here we should see these waypoints all in place now for our AI action on number three we need to start timer block number two set up our action and our timer block number two is going to be here and we need to start that okay now timer block number two alright we've got that so now let's go into timer block number two and let's get it set its actions up so for timer block number two we need to turn off the basic AI1 behavior need to turn that behavior off we need to turn on flight recorder number two behavior needs to cut be turned on and we need to on our move block we need to turn collision off and we need to turn precision mode on and so we've turned off basic AI recorder behavior one we're turning on uh, the flight recorder number two and then we're turning collision off and we're turning precision on and then we need to stop timer block number two okay well you're getting the general idea of what what I have to do here so I'm going to go through and finish setting everything else up and once I get that done I will uh, catch back up with you well I hope 
I think I've got it all set up. So I had to had a start button here for the drone. So I've got <coughs> this button active and I had to also set up an event block and a timer block down below. Okay. So I did that. I, here's the event block and I've got it set up to when the uh, batteries on the drone, the cobalt drone, are at a threshold of at least 98%. it is going to then start this timer block right here which will the actions on it will start it'll turn on the behavior for the AI recorder for task number one and then it will play it and then it'll turn this block off and so all I did with the button upstairs to start this was to hit this, uh, tell it to start that timer, and then it'll shut off. Uh, so now, let's hop in here real quick. I'll kind of show you what I've set up. And if we go into here, uh, let's go dr-co, and uh, so I've got the event controller, actually I have two on here, I only need one. I've got it set up so that when the cobalt or when the medium cargo, medium, the two medium cargos and the connector are all at 100%, it will take off from the other site. Uh, so this AI recorder starts everything off. Uh, it will unlock the connector and it'll start timer block number two. Or start timer block number one, which is then set up to turn the uh, uh, collision on and the precision mode off and turn the task one behavior off and turn the AI behavior on and it will turn off the timer block number one. All right. So that's that. And then same with all of the others. So let's just see if this is going to actually take off. If we do this, and nothing. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's trying. Uh, something, something is not, uh, well, as you can see, it's a matter of adjusting. So, it, uh, I'll have to, let's let's go in and look at the flight recorder one because that should have started things off. So let's let's go into here. Let's see. First off, so it did it did unlock. All right. Let's get to flight recorder one. Behavior on, status block disabled. So it looks like it's playing, start, stop playing, and then it's supposed to, so it's supposed to unlock, 
and fly to waypoint one where it's supposed to start the timer block. Well, I tell you what, let me uh, do a little bit of figuring out on this. It could be as simple as I just, uh, there's a lot of steps that has to go in and to get these set up. So let me, uh, uh, oh, you know, I wonder. You know what, I had that set to charge with everything off. Let's do this again. Let me get into here. Control panel. Uh, DRCO. Let's go to recorder number one. Let's stop that. And then let's turn the behavior on. Now, let's lock lock this turn that to auto turn those on I didn't have I don't I think I didn't have that set up properly now let's see what happens let's go come on There it goes. And it should turn. This is the hard part in survival. In creative, I can sit there and fly along with it and watch it. So it has already, so it's on its way to Cobalt 2. And let's, come on, fingers crossed. It's heading to Cobalt number three. And Let's uh, run over here. And you know what? We're we're just gonna have to kind of just keep an eye on it. Cobalt drone. It's over there. It's got a. It's still moving away. I can see it. And uh, it should. I think it's starting to land, or it should be landing. And hopefully it locks on. Oh, I think it's starting to lift off. I think. And let's give it a few seconds. Hopefully it's going to, otherwise, let's just watch. You know, I can hop in that other drone if it doesn't take off. Yeah, let's do that. Let me go hop in the other drone. Yeah, it's never an exact science to get this set up. There are just so many steps involved in it that... Uh, if you don't have it exactly right, it's not going to work. So let's uh, unlock this. And let's fly down. This is one nice thing about having the extra drone here. Let's 
see where it got stuck at. Oh. Okay. Well, this could prove to be challenging. Since I don't have a jetpack, he is stuck right there. Uh... You know what I do have on there? You know what? I think... I can do this. Alright, I... Let me fly back. I did set up a remote control, although I don't have it set up back here at the base. So... Let me get back here to the base. All right, we are in the drone right now, and we are looking straight ahead. Uh, it seems it has picked up the... It's picked up its uh, cobalt. So it got to this point, it lifted off, and so it did not trigger the... It did not trigger the AI... here so it did not turn the behavior on I think so let's look at the move block so it's on so if we do this let's turn this behavior on and we're going to just fly along with the drone let's see how this does So, it's got to get to its first stop, which is cobalt number three, which it's almost there. Now it should take off to cobalt two, should pick up speed a bit more, and it is. So it'll fly into cobalt number two, which is just the waypoints that I put in. Or the GPS coordinates. So it's got to slow down. So that's... Uh, I just wanted to make sure because it wasn't a direct line over there. So I put a second waypoint in. And... So it's going to slow down to there. And as soon as it hits that, it's going to go to waypoint number three and I see the shadow of another ship flying overhead there that makes me a little nervous so now this should be coming back and to cobalt number one I threw up an antenna down there. I hope it's not going to be in the way. It shouldn't. So we're going to get to cobalt number one. And now it should start the next timer. Now it should start dropping down. It should flip over and... It just moved over to the uh, waypoint for the recorder. It's now turned that on. It's landing. And I'm not doing any of this. This is all being handled by the autopilot. And... 
should lock. Let's uh, get lock. Let's go out here and see. Ah, uh, it didn't, didn't land just right. Okay. All right, well, I tell you what we're going to do here. Uh, I'm going to do some more work on this. We're already at 47 minutes. Uh, I think we're going to cut the video off right here. And we'll pick this up right into the next episode. Uh, I will uh, make some more adjustments. And hopefully at the start of the next episode we'll see a complete uh, flight out of our drone. But you get the idea. You get what we're trying to do. So there was just some steps in there that was probably missed that for some reason the timer blocks didn't kick in and so it uh, that it got st stuck uh, all right well if you like the video please hit that thumbs up uh, it really helps the video out a lot and please subscribe that really helps the channel and uh, okay all you space engineers out there keep building away keep your heads low and don't get shot and with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.